for today's devotional can be found in Psalms chapter 93 verse 5. Thy testimonies are very sure. Holiness becometh thine house, O Lord, forever. Okay, so, so, we are given opportunities at knowledge, including the knowledge of the gospel. And through nurturing that knowledge of the gospel, through exploring it, through coming to know the truth of it for ourselves, we develop an appreciation for it. And when we develop an, an appreciation for something that's sacred, then we eventually develop a testimony. In other words, a surety about the truth and sacredness of it. And when we have developed a testimony of something, we want to live up to the standards it provides. And we want to become righteous. And through the atonement, we can become righteous. We can have a surety of our testimonies. We can defend what we know to be right and holy and pure and true against those who would seek to destroy us or the knowledge or the giver of the knowledge. God is indestructible and he teaches us through knowledge how we can be the same way. But we're mortal, you know. We're very fallible. We have our agency. And when we do fall, we're very fortunate that we have the atonement to help us repent and we shouldn't be afraid to repent for every time we repent we are showing and embracing our testimony of something that we know to be true and sacred which is the atonement of Jesus Christ and every time we repent, we show that we wish to be righteous and aspire to become holy and it becomes part of us and it becomes part of our house and part of our every being. For the choice we have made is to integrate the Lord into our very lives, into our very souls. And when we have a sure testimony, we shouldn't keep it to ourselves. We should share it through our actions and through our words and through our thoughts that all may be able to see Christ through us and that all may come looking for him themselves. Because Christ invites all that come unto him. He knocks at the door of our hearts and only we can let him in. And we should let him in that we may be able to learn of him and develop a sureness, a surety of what he teaches, that we may be able to share it with others and that all may become more righteous and aspire to become holy. For we are all children of God and we are very loved. That's what the atonement was an unconditional act of unconditional love that we might be able to rise above our sins and our mortalities and be able to go after the knowledge that would help us to be able to develop a surety and a, and a desire to defend it. But it's our choice. But good choices have good consequences, as you will see if you experiment. And seek knowledge that you can have a surety of. And eventually I decided to defend it. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.